you're looking for fast, cheap, reliable mug coins, make sure to check out buymugcoins.com. Link in the description. Use code CK for 10% off. Welcome back, you guys. Your boy CK, and it's all about 1985 today. The players we will be taking in this draft will be the guys who were born closest to 1985. You know, those people that will probably tell you. 1985, I arrived. And you can't tell me these pants don't look like they from 1985, bro. These are just that 1985 fashion, boy. <laughs> Being born in the best year ever is not going to save Adrian Amos. We got to go ahead and take Richard Sherman. Round number two, we're taking another player from that Seahawks championship team a few years ago, Russell Wilson. Let's just say that these two legends are a little too old to be taken in this draft. We're going with this Sean Jackson. It doesn't get much closer than this. Josh Sitton, born in 1986. We got to go with the left guard. Round number five, two players who were born in 1988, but it's very unfortunate that we can't take either of them we gotta go to reggie nelson so we do have a tie in round number six two guys both a year away from 1985 and i gotta go with the higher overall jonathan joseph we're gonna add another weapon to the offense for russell wilson to work with pierre garçon two guys were born in the same exact year and uh yeah this one's tough they're both linebackers and they're both the same overall i'm just gonna go ahead and take bruce Irvin. i like that speed i'm honestly a little bit shocked that he's not older than this man they Eric Johnson, born in 1982. As much as I might take jabs at him, it still kind of baffles me how he's not signed by now. We're taking Des Bryant, born in 1988. You already know what time it is, man. Another tie in round number 11. And as much as I love this Chris Thompson, Madden Harvest card, I, I can't take him over Deion Lewis. Finally, we have a guy who was born in 1985. Hold up. Reverse! It was actually 1958. We're not taking the left tackle instead. We're going with V. Diddy, Vernon Davis. I'm actually thankful to get another offensive lineman. We're going with Joe Berger. All right, no troll this time. We actually have someone who can say, 1985, I arrived. We're taking Jordy Nelson. Another tie comes in round number 15, only six rounds remaining. I think I got to go with Morgan Burnett, man. We need that strong safety. I low-key did not know Brandon Cooks was this young. He's had a pretty good career so far. But we're not taking him. We're going with Michael Crabtree. I'm loving the lineman we're getting in this draft, man. Our third one of the video is going to be Nate Solder. My man was born in the same year as me, and he was born in the same place I'm from. I got to get his jersey, man. However, we cannot take him. We got to go with Jared Cook. You know this round's full of old heads when Bruce Smith is the youngest. We're going with the right end from the Bills. Round number 20, we're going to get our sixth wide receiver of the draft, AJ Green. 97 overall, unbelievable card. Brand new uniforms alert, the all orange color rush or whatever this is, man. It looks really fire. That's all I can say. Second and 10, going to try to get the run game going on a counter. Let's go, Deion Lewis using that speed. Amazing block by AJ Green. Just an absolutely incredible block by our wide receiver. After after that kind of effort from AJ Green, I got to try to get him a touch right here on third and 10. We're going to put him on an in route right at the first down marker. See if he can somehow get open. Let's go, baby. Oh, God. Who's open? Square. It's going to be you. Let's go, AJ Green. Doing what he's known for and making a big play. Going to the screen, baby. Let's see what we can do. Come on, Deion Lewis. He's known for being great out of the backfield. Deion Lewis to the end zone, man. Let's go. On defense for the first time, and he has Carlos Hyde in the backfield along with Carson Wentz. I knew he's going to try to run the ball. Nice tackle by Humber. In case I forgot to show the defense, we uh, really don't have too much talent in the front seven. Only three of these guys are even elite cards. So yeah, we're kind of struggling in the talent department. What does he have open this time? Absolutely nothing, man. Oh my God, never mind. He has someone wide open. Holy crap. What a playmaker, man. Great job. Now that the NFL draft is over, I want to hear your thoughts on uh, who had the best draft, who had the worst draft. Me personally, I don't really know. I think the Browns have been having an amazing offseason. I don't know too much about the draft though. Got to be completely honest. We're going to square wide open over the middle, AJ Green. But yeah, man, I didn't really watch too much of the draft after like the first 10 picks. I, I kind of zoned out. I didn't care because the Eagles already have an amazing roster and, and they're bringing pretty much everyone back. So 
I, it didn't really phase me too much. I mean, we just re-signed Darren Sproles, but you guys probably don't care about it if you're not Eagles fans. All I'm saying is that we have a pretty good roster. Let me know how your team did in the draft. I'm very curious to find out. Uh, let's see what we have open this time. Triangle is going to be you. Let's go. Deion Lewis having an amazing game so far. Don't ask me how we got backed up all the way to the 38-yard line. I need to figure out a way to at least get in the field goal range. Oh my God, he's pressing AJ Green. You sure you want to do that, sir? Please do me a favor and rethink what you just did right there. Our one's open, so it don't matter. Crabtree, what a catch, man. Let's go. Oh my God, look at the disrespect he's giving AJ Green. You sure you want to do that? Don't do that next time or else we gonna score a touchdown. Not too happy with the way my defense is playing. We gotta tighten up. I'm going to man defense. See if that works out just a little bit. Uh, let's see. Let's see, baby. Go get the quarterback, man. What are y'all doing? Let's go. Bruce Smith with the sack. We're going to watch the middle of the field. Protect outside because I know he wants to go to the out route. And yeah, let's see if you can make a play, boys. Come on, baby. Let's go. Back to back sacks Robinson this time. You better get out of that five wide, bro. I promise you. I'm sending the dogs at you every single time. I promise you it's going to be another sack. He didn't, he didn't adjust. I don't know why he didn't adjust. Another sack. Stop playing with me. 12 seconds to get down the field and somehow get in field goal range i know we can make it happen come on baby let's go r1 is gonna be you r1 it's gonna be you let's go Dion lewis oh my goodness he's the goat bro i still can't believe it that's a running back out there making catches like that and that's gonna get us a two possession lead man unbelievable play right there bruce smith right now is a one-man wrecking crew just somehow generating pressure almost every single player comes third and four and we needed him to do it one more time one more time bruce okay we got the tackle and of course you already know he's going for it fourth down and two easily the biggest play of the game up to this point let's get off the field i got a whole lot of money yo, bitches yo, yo. Bro Smith is there for the tackle. Player of the game right now, easily. R1 wide open, Deion Lewis doing the same thing he's been doing all game, which is absolutely beast. Pick this guy up, man. He's an animal. And that's going to be a rage quit. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do me a favor and smash that like button also. Do not forget to subscribe if you're new around here. Leave in the comment section below any suggestions you have for me to do in the future. And as for me, gotta run when I hit a bird call. Damn, hop in that thing and murk off, swerve off.